Hi, I'm Rick from Marvel Models, DJI dealer from the UK and RC specialist for over 40 years. In this series of videos, I'm going to be covering DJI's new Mavic Air. This is a new drone which fits firmly in between the Spark and the Mavic Pro. If you'd like to support my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my channel and remember to hit the little bell icon in the corner and that way you'll be alerted whenever I post up some new videos. Okay, so before we get started, I'm just going to do a quick overview of the craft and its features, physical features, uh, before we get started. Just to familiarise yourself before we start doing anything. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that the Mavic is actually a folding drone. So one of the first things you're going to do is you're going to have to actually fold the arms out. Now, um, they kind of come out in a little bit of an order. So the first thing we want to do is fold the back leg out. Another back leg. And then we can fold the front legs out because the props kind of get in the way if you don't do that. So that's the first thing we do. We're going to fold the props out. Now, working our way around the craft, one thing you obviously need to do is you need to remove the gimbal clamp. So this is a clamp and a cover to protect the camera. So to remove that, you just simply unclip and then that just slides out. Remember to move that before, uh, sorry, remove it before switching on for the first time uh, or any time because otherwise it'll lock the gimbal in place and cause a motor overload uh, error. Now moving out on the arms, you'll notice there are little feet there which have been folded in. So they will need to come out as well. It just helps portability and that's why they're like that. And obviously moving down the craft, we've got the battery. To remove the battery, we just simply pull those claps back. There's one on each side battery comes out simple as again with all DJI products only ever use genuines do not use copies and just slot that back in and then turning on the craft and on the craft you can actually just push the button once if you just want to check the battery but to turn it on you're going to push it and then you're going to push it and hold it and that will switch the craft on moving down here we've got various sensors so these are these the sensors that act like when you don't have a gps lock these sensors look at the ground and they will lock it in position so if you're indoors or for whatever reason you don't have gps lock these are what's going to help the height of the craft when it's hovering but also its positioning when it doesn't have gps now back to the front we have your obstacle avoidance sensors we've got two at the front we've got two at the back this is what sees things when you're flying forward and for example if you try to fly into a wall the craft is not going to let you kind of a little bit like a car reverse warning except for the difference is a car you can still reverse into it where this will actually stop it unless you turn them off so that's the sensors okay so moving around the back i have the little drop down door here and in the back you've got the usb port that is for connecting to the the craft to your computer for updating via the assistant to software and also for calibrating uh, and then we have the sd card slot now good thing about the uh, mavic air is it's got eight gigs actually built in which is not a lot but it's really handy if you were to either your cards were full or you actually forgot your card but of course you can put any well almost any side of card in here uh, moving to the top, obviously you've got your four propellers in each corner. I will show you how to take the props off and on in a separate part of the video. So that is just a basic run through of the craft itself. I hope you found that video helpful and if you'd like to support my channel remember to subscribe and hit the little bell icon and that way you'll be alerted when there's any new videos. Also you can also head over to my Patreon channel and as for as little as a dollar a month you can support me to keep helping bringing you more informative videos. Uh, always remember to fly safe and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.